don't know how I did it, but I made it happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm never touching ranked. Until this until this gets touched, I'm not touching ranked. I'll have to go out of my way to touch ranked. At least with that character. So y'all probably already know how to do what I'm about to show y'all, but in case you don't, in case you're just brand new, I got you. So this right here, it takes key to use. But uh, it's pretty much where you just vanish. You you incorporate the vanish into your your rush combos. Also, I noticed like like characters that can't fly, they're, when they're at this distance, they are way slower going backwards or forwards. But their dashes are a lot more responsive. So what I'm gonna show y'all is, let's do one rush attack. And then whatever side you wanna go to, point your left stick, whatever side you wanna go to and press circle, right? Right after that. And a lot of the time, this leads to a vanish directly behind your opponent. And um, that shit is, I'm telling you, like, like a lot of good players, they want to allow that to happen type shit. But it depends, like, it depends on you, bro. The creativity is limitless. It depends all on you. So, like, if you, like, you know what I'm saying? You can always mix up when you do it. And you can do it so many times, like... It does take key. You can do it a lot. So like if someone's like perception spamming per se, ooh, per se, ooh, now I feel fancy saying that. But um, if someone's perception spamming, you know, throw like, you can even like faint a rush and whiff on purpose. You you can like whiff on purpose if you want to. But yeah, and here, I'll show you all the key drain on it. It doesn't take that much key. Like it, it really doesn't. It, I low key think it should, but like, look at this. Whenever you dash, a lot of people try to dash and then shoot a key blast. But when you're in this range, whenever you dash, as soon as you, if you hit triangle right after dashing, you do like a heavy, you do a heavy smash. But this can be really useful because you see that stun, especially if you hit someone from the back. Pause. But like, say you got like a. Oh, also at, when you do the vanish, it it you you can't do the little heavy smash. It it only works like that on a side step. But um. Yeah, that shit is like, bro, you get behind someone or even in front of someone. Like a combo I like to do in ranked a lot is like, uh, I'll dodge someone's hit, then I'll do that. And then I'll get to like my, what, my fourth punch right there? So like, then I'll vanish. And then I'll do my last, Goku does like this last like little double kick. And it leads for a step in. So he'll do that right there. And then I can do a step in. You guys should learn how to perfect smash. I never really use it. It's really important though. Like if you can learn and get get this shit down, how to do it is you just want to wait until your character as soon as they glow, as soon as they glow, so they're gonna glow, and then you want to release. The window one is pretty loose though, honestly. Like, I, I don't know. Something else I like to do is um I'll do this combo right here, and this is just hoping they don't super counter right. And then like I'll do this into this into this super. It doesn't do too much damage though since I'm fucking kid Goku. But it breaks that little it, it, you get about 11k off of that which is all right. And uh yeah, bro, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, I just want y'all to incorporate the vanishes, bro. That's about it. Like please, bro, cuz the vanishes like you can go crazy with those. But keep an eye on your key. Anyways, that's about it. This wasn't very useful. But I'm going to upload it anyways. Peace out.